mean, you could sell foreign rights to your show. Even SpongeBob did it. Buon compleaños, Guidardo. No, 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 Ribardo. The classic Nickelodeon show, SpongeBob SquarePants, has been referenced in plenty of cartoons, movies, and other TV shows. And in today's video, we're going to be listing some of the coolest ones. Before we get started though, leave a comment down below, letting us know what your favorite SpongeBob SquarePants episode is. Also, subscribe to the channel, that way you enter in to our monthly shoutout giveaway. In the American Dad episode, Father's Days, Stan finds a way for his family to celebrate Father's Day every day. Stan does this by erasing their memory so that his family will forget that they already celebrated Father's Day. Eventually, the family figures out, and as you can imagine, this gets them pretty annoyed. Because of this, Stan goes on a huge personal rant that offends every member of his family with the mindset that he can just erase their memories afterwards. However, the device that Stan uses to erase his family's memory stops working. Stan attempts to clear the air by bringing home a cake but take a look at this cake, because it features a familiar face. And that familiar face is, well, as you guessed, SpongeBob SquarePants. Hey guys, uh, I know you didn't think my jokes earlier were very funny. Jokes? I made you one of my famous apology cakes. Just pretend SpongeBob is me, and instead of having amazing adventures under the sea, he's sorry he insulted his family. We're never getting past this. Okay, I knew there was a small chance the cake wouldn't work, but maybe you'll find this filling more persuasive. Another show made by Seth MacFarlane that has a SpongeBob reference is the very popular Family Guy. It actually has a couple, but my favorite takes place in the episode Road to Rupert. During this episode, Peter is acting like a child while Meg is driving, so to distract him, Meg puts on SpongeBob. Now, not only is this a SpongeBob reference, but it's also a reference to a specific episode, the camping episode. As you can see here, SpongeBob and Patrick are singing the classic campfire song. I want apple juice. Dad, you left your apple juice at home. I want apple juice. <sighs> you want to watch SpongeBob? Yes. SpongeBob. <laughs> Another Nickelodeon show, Hey Arnold, has a pretty subtle SpongeBob reference in the episode Weighing Harold. This is an episode about the character, Harold, having weight problems. At one point of the episode, Arnold is in a comic book store, when he overhears some discussion about Harold. But in this comic book store, you can see a yellow record that is titled SpongeBob. Nobody's even seen him in over a week. I heard he went and holed up in his room and ain't coming out. He's probably too busy eating to come out. <laughs> Our next reference is a very, very funny one, and it's pretty tough to spot out. Episode 13 of the anime, Gurren Logan has a very brief appearance from everybody's favorite grumpy squid, Squidward Tentacles. Here, take a look at this shot. You might not notice it at first, but take a look at what's behind Viral. As you can see, that is definitely Squidward. He may be a different color from what we're used to, but the reference is very obvious. In the classic Nickelodeon show, Avatar The Last Airbender, there's a subtle nod to Spongebob in the first part of the first season finale. Master Paku says to one of his underwhelming students, Nice work. In a couple more years, you may be ready to fight a sea sponge. This is a obvious reference to the underwater pineapple dweller, Spongebob. And it's also a reference to the fact that Spongebob loves karate. Nice try, pupil Sangok. A couple of more years and you might be ready to fight a sea sponge. In the Phineas and Ferb episode, Summer Belongs to You, Phineas, Ferb, and the gang find themselves on a deserted island. Phineas digs a hole, but he finds something in this hole. 
a sponge and a starfish. Yeah, I don't think I need to tell you what this is a reference to, but it's a nod to SpongeBob and Patrick. I just feel like giving up and look at it. Look, a sponge and a starfish. There's gotta be something we can make out of this. Oh, oh no, that's ridiculous. It's as if I don't exist. In the season 16 episode of South Park, Randy buys a blockbuster with the hopes that it makes him and his family rich. This means that Stan can't go trick-or-treating with his friends as Randy wants Stan to work the store. Stan still technically goes trick-or-treating, but his face is displayed on an iPad. Now, there are a ton of cartoon references in this episode, but during the South Park Monster Mash, you can see somebody wearing a SpongeBob SquarePants Halloween costume. I don't think that there's an animated show out there that is as beloved as The Simpsons, apart from SpongeBob SquarePants. So when these shows acknowledge each other, it's always a lot of fun. At the end of the season 16 episode, She Used to Be My Girl, Lisa prays to Jesus, Buddha, and SpongeBob. On top of this, we actually see Jesus, Buddha, and SpongeBob hanging out above in the clouds together. Lisa, what are you doing in there? Praying to Buddha? Jesus, SpongeBob, there's no time to be picky. Perhaps we should help. Squiller. <laughs> I mean, you could sell foreign rights to your show. Even SpongeBob did it. Buon compleaños, Guidardo. No, 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 Ribardo. Y una mina de la Seconda Guerra Mundiale. Que fa 